Welcome back guys to another video on this channel. I am right now here in South Africa. And uh, if you just clicked to learn what my new board sponsor is, I'm gonna tell you right away and you'll find the explanation later on in the video because I'm here for the JP and Neil Pride photo shoot. And yes, some of you guessed it, of course, I'm back uh, on JP boards, but like I said, more about that later in the video. I'm gonna take you along a bit for the photo shoot. So I arrived here the day before yesterday and the first impressions were quite amazing because you have incredible nature. Like you see it straight away, how beautiful this country is. I don't think with all the shooting, I'm gonna have a lot of time to explore many spots and places. So I'm definitely gonna have to come back for a proper video here so we can explore the whole country together. And we're staying here in a place called Langeban, which is like one and a half hours north of Cape Town. Yesterday, I sailed the spot right behind me and it was super nice flat water because the wind comes offshore. And yeah, we were cranking some drives. And yeah, right now it's pretty early in the morning. We just packed everything up because we're going to go to apparently a super nice bay. I'm excited for that. It's always a mix of feelings uh, during photo shoots because on one hand it is so exhausting. You rig and de-rig so many different sets of gear and you spend basically the whole day from early morning to late evening out in the sun. And of course you're having fun on the gear and it's cool people around. But uh, yeah, it's definitely demanding. I'm looking forward to today. Hey guys, just a quick reminder for this month giveaway. Every member and supporter has the chance to win a brand new New Pride Racing Sale. And for all YouTube subscribers, you can win a mass extension and base as well as an online coaching session with me. So go and check the link in the description for your chance to win the sale and get some exclusive PDF tutorials. All you need to do is be subscribed to this YouTube channel, leave your email address in the link below the video and by the end of the month, the winner will be informed by me via email. Look at that paradise down there. I mean, this place is called uh, Crawl Bay, and I mean, words can't describe how pretty this is. It's like shallow for really far out, so like waist deep, and uh, the water is flat, it's windy. The only thing is that I'm a little bit sick. I carried something from the Canaries. It is what it is. You guys are shooting over there. How's life in uh, South Africa here? We got some locals. Absolutely, life is good. There's no one else apart from you guys. Yeah, that's true. Yes, it's the perfect day. It's our favorite place to come and meet so. Videographer number one. How's it, man? How's Videographer it? number two. Oh, yeah. But you Videographer like number three. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> number four. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, cameraman number five. I have a smaller one. I have the smallest. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's about the work you do. Yeah, yeah. This is where we launch from. And then you start from kind of like here, where you see this guy on the water right now. You see this huge sand bank. You can just blast along the beach. It's pretty steady, the wind. It's shallow, so it's like waist deep. And you just blast along the African coast. It's, it's well, one of the, if not the nicest spot I've been to. It's really, really beautiful. It's completely untouched. You're by yourself out there. And it doesn't even seem dangerous. You know how they talk about the sharks here in South Africa? You feel pretty safe here.
full day of shooting, Sebastian. What do you say about the image that people have about professional windsurfers chilling on the beach all day? I think it's good that you make some behind the scenes because then you can see how much I'm sweating and <laughs> working in the sun. You are sweating actually. Yeah. <laughs> you see the stairs? Yeah, everything goes up and down there. Yeah, we just uh, we just finished a long freaking day of shooting. We woke up at uh, about 7.30, came straight down here, shooting from 9 o'clock and now it's about uh, 5 p.m. My voice is not getting much better and uh, we got a lot of stuff done and now we are going to do a downwinder straight across this whole bay all the way uh, yeah to where we started um, with the car you have to sort of go all the way around the lagoon which takes 50 minutes and I think by windsurfing it should be around 15 minutes so I'm excited for it because uh, yeah we're sort of all going together it's pretty cool ready for the downwinder guys let's go How was that, Sebastian? Uh, I like it. <laughs> I always like to go for long distance, but uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It got a bit windy. It, to me, it looked like you did the longest drive in the world. You were I, just going. I, I jumped all the way from Kalbay to here. Yeah, it, it looked like it. it looked like it. Uh, and for the wing, Woo, it was fun. Always good to do it down here. What size? Uh, 3.3. It's got windy there, huh? <laughs> At the end it was perfect for it. Yeah. At the beginning it was a bit underpowered. What surprised me the most was the the, the water temperature difference from when you entered the bay here. Oh, yes. But you were on the foil. You no, I, I, I jumped in and I was like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants coffee? Everybody, Everybody wants coffee, what a question! Isa Fontaine, something like that, and uh, we're on the on the Atlantic coast, so close to Langebahn, where our base is actually, a little bit north from Cape Town, and uh, it's a pretty place, huh? Check out this. Perfect waves down there, super nice wave conditions. It's blowing probably 25 knots. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go in that sheltered spot in the corner where it's flat, and. There are no waves and we're going on free ride gear. I mean, I know I'm complaining on a high level, but obviously you, got, you guys know my heart is pounding for wave conditions. Funny thing is that these are actually nowhere near the conditions anybody would go out where we went up there. It's like 
so so insanely gusty but sometimes to get a good shot you gotta go into strange places right pros make it happen yeah i don't think uh it's very saleable where we were up there and in the end i was on a 7.2 and it's probably gusting i don't know maybe 25 knots at least but it was it was beautiful because there were some seals out there and when there are seals around and chilling like they were most likely there are no sharks so that's that's a good sign but yeah absolutely beautiful to see sail with the seals out there it was just uh, not perfect conditions in a drastic turn of events We've had a massive rainstorm, which is, I think, not so common for South Africa. So a little bit of an insight into the life here in South Africa. I'm uh, right next to the Danish Dynamites, Bastion Cornum. And uh, actually, the last days, to be honest, I couldn't enjoy them a lot because I've had sort of a stomach bug. Uh, I guess the food here has been pretty tough and a strong, strong sunburn as well. So sort of a sun poisoning, I feel like. I haven't been able to get rid of my cold either. What else is happening in South Africa? We have something that's called load shedding. Electricity plugged in. Here's the cable, here's the laptop. But it's not charging. So a couple of times per day, we are out of electricity. And uh, don't ask me why, I have no idea. I guess uh, they are having some issues here in South Africa that uh, yeah, several times per day for a couple of hours we don't have any electricity. So that's, that's quite interesting for where we are from. Of course, we, we don't know much about that stuff. What else is there to say about South Africa? Asking me? Sure. I think what was really nice about this trip was to be together with all the guys again. Having all this new amazing equipment and, and so much of it, you know, <laughs> luxury problem is to pack the car with so much gear and uh, just have fun all day long, it's pretty cool. And it's funny because we, on a daily basis, we don't use so much the free ride gear. So during a shooting, it always is the opportunity to like, yeah, kind of jump on the on the fun gear. Yeah, exactly, and you, you get surprised how much fun it is. Like uh, two days ago, we were jumping together in the waves on the free ride gear, not meant to do that, but but yeah. just to feel, uh, you know, how much the gear is able to do and have fun with it in a different way. Yeah. Super cool and nice, nice uh, experiences with the friends. Yeah, perks of uh, being a pro rider and doing the photo shoot. Is the electricity back though? That's the question. It's 6.03, so... Nicht zurück. So now you saw all the action from the last days and the last bit you saw was actually from a sail comparison that we just filmed. JP and Neopride, they were kind enough to help me out with the videographers and of course we have sort of all the sails here. So it was a good moment to make a similar comparison as I did with the boards a few months ago. You saw it on this channel where we compared free race versus free ride versus race equipment and yeah we just did the same with the sails. All in all really nice times with the team here. I do think it set me back a little bit with my training. I had a hard time, you know, with the flu, with the stomach bug. I got a sunstroke as well, burnt myself in the sun really badly despite really putting a lot of sunscreen. So yeah, I think that was a little bit of a setback and today I'm going back to Germany and afterwards back to Tenerife for the training. But now for those of you who are really curious about it, I wanna talk about why I changed back to JP. Just had to change the spot as there were some people talking a bit loud in the background. Uh, so in the last video I purposely left it a bit open whether I just left my job at Starboard or I also leave as a rider. And since I always try to give you guys a little bit of an insight into my thinking and why I do the things I do, 
this is what I'm going to do now. So first of all, you have to understand that Starboard and Severn are within one company as well as JP and Yearpride. So obviously they are highly incentivized to get a rider on all the brands within the company because of course you need to make your investments efficiently and you need to use your budget in, a, in an effective way. And that totally makes sense and uh, I understand that, especially having been on the other side. So of course as a rider on all the brands within a company, you're a bit better taken care of not necessarily only financially, but also in the development, you're more integrated. Get a better insight into what's happening in terms of development. And yeah, as a, as a rider, you know, with a goal to be the best, you always want to be on the forefront on what's happening. And of course, yeah, I have a clear goal in terms of competitions and what kind of rankings I want to reach. And that really helps me to get uh, to my goal. And of course, I have to make sure I have a constellation of partners that I can really make the trainings and the competition over the years happen. So yeah, it was actually quite clear to me that I was going to be on the brands of just one company. About seven years ago, I came into the Nearpride and JP team. And since that time, I actually never stopped using Nearpride sales even though that was one year when I switched to Starboard I didn't get any support from Nearpride I still kept using the sales despite having actually really good offers from from other brands and that's because I just really really like the sales and the funny thing is that the same person who signed me to the team seven years ago still is the same person in charge of the team and I have not only built a friendship with him but also uh, yeah a, a trustful relationship and and with him and the whole team on top of that of course it's a german company so it's easy and quick for me to get gear if for example i break something or i need something quickly there's just a yeah a very short connection in terms of performance i've always said that the big brands they all make fast boards and it, it really is more a matter of your personal style and, and riding style, which brand you prefer. And of course, I know the JP boards from two years back, so I know the style and I know that it works for me. Of course, uh, my friend Enrico, who's on JP, he won the last PWA event, so that of course shows that the performance is there and uh, that didn't really have to be a concern for me. I, I know the boards are fast, I know I can get used to them because I've also accomplished good results with those sports in the past. So no excuses in terms of gear and what can I say? The decision was made. I signed my contract here. Massive, massive thanks to JP and Neil Pride for believing in me, coming along on this journey. And I'm just really excited for what's coming now and to take you guys all along. Uh, I think it's gonna be a fun ride. And uh, yeah, now it's time to pack up my things and make my way to the airport. And also let me know in the comments what you think about my decision. I'm really curious to read about it. And uh, I'd say if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. You know the drill. Leave a like under the video if you liked all the action scenes. And that's it for Cape Town. See you soon.